Hello, thanks for joining me here at Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, I finally got my book. I finally got my magazine. Yay! I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this. Um, but maybe some people don't have Jasmine Beckett Griffith's books. Um, so these images are new to them. Or maybe they just haven't seen the flip through of, of this. So I was just going to go ahead and do uh, a little flip through of this Coloring Haven magazine. Now it is very large. And if I pull Jasmine's first book, you can see um, it is a good oh, quarter inch taller. So that's it. So this is Jasmine's uh, first book. It is on a cream paper. It's very nice paper. Um, but I do actually like the paper in the Coloring Haven magazines. They're still really good. Um, even for being a magazine, like it's not create space, it's not anything like that. So it's still really good paper. Um, so I really do recommend uh, these magazines if you can get your hands on them. I did sign up for the when they were running a special for three months for ten dollars and then thirty dollars for three months after that, which is roughly. It, it's on the more expensive side of a magazine subscription. Um, but, you know, it depends on what you want out of it. So, this, I believe, is from Her Mermaids. I, I'm not going to be able to tell you what each one is from. Um, so, I'm, I'm not actually going to try. I don't think it does not have what this one is. All the others have the name. So this is Clockwork Draggingling. This is one I haven't attempted yet, but I love it. And I've seen so many awesome versions of it. And a lot of Jasmine's books, you'll notice these little butterflies everywhere. Um, and then the backgrounds are fairly simple. Just a couple of lines, like the horizon line, some rocks, and some clouds. And that's it. And then that allows you some creativity then to go into the background and do what you want. Apparently the cat's getting in the sink because that's just what she does. This is Poison's Volants. It's Flying Fish Series. So it tells you a little bit about the picture as well. These are all um, full-blown paintings that Jasmine then took and put into line art. So if you wanted to stay true to Jasmine's pictures, you can go look them up by the titles here. So these are like some, those those bug eye goldfish. It's kind of cute. I love those guys. I used to love having goldfish. This is Pipistrello. Little gothy thing going on here with some bats in the background. And um, this is actually bat wings with some veining in it, I think, marbling. Alice in Snow White, I adore this picture. I've seen it colored a couple different, true and not true, you know, to what Alice in Snow White. So this would be Alice, this would be Snow White. And the Cheshire Cat. This is Jeweled Octopus. Um, if you guys do follow Color and Chat with Sammy, uh, she did a tutorial on how she colored this octopus and it came out gorgeous. And I think she also did um, like a wet, wet eye and wet lip tutorial as well. Durga and the Tiger. This is, I've seen this with um, a really blue skin and it was adorable. I loved it. Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. Uh, it's a tip of the hat to Edgar Allan Poe. So you have your ravens in the background. Like I said, it's a very simple background. It's a very um, face and, and body forward images. So if that's not your cup of tea, then this may not be the magazine for you. This is Water Elementals. I've seen this done a few different ways. I'm, I'm 
was it this one that May did her three skin tutorials on? Maybe it wasn't May, maybe it was somebody else. I'm terrible with remembering stuff like that, guys. I'm so sorry. But if you happen to know, by all means, put a link down in the comments below. Um, I will link to the Anthem Publishing website if you wish to look. Um, this is Halicon, Hal Hal Halcyon. So many butterflies. So uh, Barnes and Nobles does occasionally carry this, but they're one, they're two to three months behind. Mine typically tend to be about three months behind what the subscription is. Autumn kitties, I've seen this done really cute too. I might have to do that this this autumn. I can, I can color on like Sunny and Miss Marvel. It's crown of air and water. So you have fish, fish and then you have butterflies and birds. Which is a really cool concept. This is Loop Guru Blanche Neige. Blanche Neige means snow white. Ah! That explains the face on the apple. Okay, interesting. So reds and blues, that would be cool. Nope, skipped a page. This is number 14, I Vampiri, Not no Da Cavella. The words literally translate into night writing or nightmare. Interesting. So she's got little fangs. Shipwreck Siren. Oh, you can just see how evil. A little bit of evil in the that eye shape. In the, the brow shape. Poison's Volant Le Bassin des Car Carpes. This is another flying fish uh, series. The Koi Pond. Angel with emeralds, so some nice gems in here. Captain Molly Morgan, I've seen this done a few times. Once with some really brilliant red hair. Zoe. Please stop. Princess of Bones. All these skeletons, animal, human. It's a little creepy. The Whispered war, Word, Lenore, I think, um, oh, what's her name? Shine Bright Designs, Tao, Tao. Um, she did this one. Another Edgar Allan Poe. Mermaid with a Golden Dragon. It's very cute. I love her little dragons. Got caught in my shirt, sorry. This is Dragonfly Mermaid. I've seen this painted very beautifully. It's nice, you can see a hint of the fin going back into the water, so you can get an idea of, of that. Because water is transparent up to a certain point. This is Wicked Witch and Glinda, so Nod the Wizard of Oz. This is Absinthe Butterflies. I've seen this painted or colored in these beautiful greens and chartreuse and yellow chartreuse. Just this gorgeous, like, glowing image. Microcosm Seascape. It's, it's very interesting. Almost, almost like those, uh, oh, what they call them? I don't remember. This is a very, I like this. I've seen this done pretty too. There, I've seen so many beautiful colorings. Tableau Vivants, Triumph of Galeta. This is actually based on a painting by um, Charles Andre von Lu back in the 1700s. Skeleton Magic, another nice Halloween-y theme. 
kind of want to do this one in October or maybe in September. Maybe I will do more than one Halloween out thing. Violet sometimes um, from The Cure because uh, she had was this I had the Cure song Charlotte sometimes stuck in my head when I painted it. But this all reminds me of the Wicked Witch of the West and the Flying Monkeys and ah ha get you my pretties. Quoth the Raven Nevermore from Poe. Alchemical Seas. Another Halloween-ish. The Scarecrow looks vaguely intimidating. Po po poissons Volants, Les Poissons Rouge, the Redfish. Goldfish are called Redfish. Okay, so these are Goldfish. Daydreams and Frogs, adorable. Nice little lily pad thing going on. Frogs with Wings, huh. I have attempted this one and failed so horribly. So I'm glad I've got another chance at this. Sun Child and Moon Child. Very cool. This is Poissons Valence Le Poisson Lion, Lionfish. Lionfish are such interesting creatures. Venus with cherubs. I'm waking the cat up. Shame on me. Wolf Countess. Flora. I love this. It has that um, kind of like Bacchus type. I just see rich golds and plump fruits and purples and rouges and all that kind of stuff. Poisons Valence Les Oiseaux, the birds. Those are interesting birds. Call of the Night. And I believe that's it. Oh, and look. Here's all the things from Blue Angel Publishing, which is the publisher for um, her work. Oh, look, they got that on the big one, too. So there you go. All 40 of these wonderful, wonderful Strangeling pictures by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below for the um, Anthem Publishing, which is who publishes it. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, and that is all, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.